Hi guys, my name is Quincy Gardner and today I want to show you guys uh, the software Adobe Speedgrade. And I want to do a quick video uh, just showing you guys the color match feature inside of Adobe Speedgrade. So let me click on out of this um, and let's get back to Adobe Premiere. Uh, it's been a while since I've posted a video on my YouTube channel and I've just been doing work, uh, music videos, weddings, and I've also, also been writing. So. Uh, really happy been pretty much getting a lot of things accomplished and, and getting to do a lot of projects and working with a lot of people so uh, Yeah, so anyways this frame right here is actually from a music video that I did for a band called young lungs and um, Be sure to check out that music video. I will put a link to that I'm, re I'm very proud of that and the band loved it as well a really awesome band there They're really really good. So if any of you are out there are, are into bands, then I I'd, I'd highly suggest uh, taking a listen to uh, the band Young Lungs, and if you're ever in the Pittsburgh area, you can definitely you know, check them out. They're actually on tour right now. So, but enough of the promotion. Uh, we're getting right into this. So we have our first shot right here. Nitrous is looking out over the water. Uh, it's a cool shot. It actually looks really really nice. Um, but for the tour for tutorial sake, we're just gonna change it and pretend that you know we absolutely hate the color and everything about it though. So, uh, what you want to do is actually go on to foul. And then you want to go to direct link to Adobe Speedgrade. Uh, I've already done that, so but I'm just showing you guys how to go about that. Dynamic link is amazing, and it's it's, it's actually uh, one of the reasons why I use Adobe products. So now this is Adobe Speedgrade. Uh, for someone who's probably never used the software, it can look a little intimidating. But once you get used to it, it's really great. Uh, the interface is great. Um, everything that you need is right there, and, and, the, and the, the software is really powerful in my opinion. But uh, we're going to get on to this. So uh, here's our shots. And uh, this is our playhead that I'm scrolling right now. So what I want to do is come over here. And I'm going to click two up. And after I click this, what it's going to do is give me two playheads. Uh, the second playhead is going to be the playhead that's going to actually grab information uh, from my next shot so that I can match that. Uh, so I can match that shot. Next thing what I want to do is I want to come over to my first playhead. All I want to do is click this button right over here in the corner. I want to click it one time, and immediately it's going to grade that. So now, as you can see, um, now the shot isn't cold anymore. It's a little bit warmer, flatter, and um, just a little disclaimer: uh, this is not going to give you the the most you know accurate you know uh, match to the shot that you want, but it's going to give you a great starting point. So I can't stress that enough. Um, I, in my opinion, I'd say doing it yourself manually, uh, obviously it's going to be much more accurate, but, uh, for example, a project that I did for an artist, uh, his name is Mike Bang. The music video was sparked the fire. And, uh, initially I had, after I shot his music video, we had three music videos to shoot. Um, we had three more music videos to shoot in a span of two weeks. And so we were pretty much, um, we didn't have a lot of time and uh, I didn't have a lot of time as I would like to really um, go into it as far as grading it. And so I was thinking to myself like, well, I can't use Adobe speed grid. I can't use Adobe after effects. And so that's when the color match feature in Adobe speed grade presented itself. And uh, we actually used that to match all the shots together uh, since it was such an easy solution. So uh, like I said before, uh, it's not going to be the most uh, accurate or the, the perfect solution for color matching, but it's definitely wonderful. Uh, it's definitely a great, uh, it's definitely a great solution when you're in a, when you're in a bind uh, for time. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'm trying to get more on it as far as my YouTube channel is concerned and putting out more videos. Because uh, like I said, I'm learning every day and I want to share uh, what I learn. Everything that I say might not be, I guess technically correct but um you know i check myself i'm learning every day and so if i ever says anything wrong or any or if i ever do anything wrong then i would definitely uh go back behind myself but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and uh until next time i'll talk to you guys later